Hey, guys, it's me. And coming up, uh, Gillette challenges toxic masculinity. And a lot of people are kind of upset about it. We'll talk about it in just one second. <laughs> Smacked. Now, here's Rob Carson. Well, that sounded very masculine, didn't it? <laughs> Welcome to uh, to the show. Uh, today, we're talking about toxic masculinity. Um, I don't think masculinity is toxic. I think I think masculinity uh, wins wars. It starts wars. Don't get me wrong. It starts it, but it also ends it. It also rushes into burning buildings and saves uh, people from dying uh it 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 holds babies newborn babies gently it drives trucks it listens to metallica then i described myself yeah kind of <laughs> gillette has put together a new uh commercial uh challenging toxic masculinity and if you're going to take all of the tenets of masculinity and you are going to say that some of them are toxic then why can't you do that to femininity Right. Uh, this isn't about toxic masculinity. This is not about masculinity being toxic. This is about people being jerks. Yeah, women can be jerks. Guys can be jerks. Doesn't mean that masculinity is toxic. In this country, we have essentially uh, overcorrected for a lot of the sins of our past, and that's great. Don't get me wrong. It, it's it's great. We had slavery, we had the civil rights movement, and now we have uh, people going after people for being white and calling them privileged. My son is in college, and, and he's white privileged, even though he has to pay for every penny of his education, uh, even though his father has, you know, uh, suffered unemployment, uh, all of these things. There's an overcorrection. There was an overcorrection with the feminist movement, and that's going on right now. That's that's the the toxic masculinity thing right now. White privilege, meaning that you're white if you're privileged, and if you're masculine, you're toxic. You see what I'm saying? Gillette kind of stepped in it. Um, I want to get to their their commercial. I guess uh, it is. It's not really. Uh, it's not really a commercial for a product. It is. It is. It's a political statement. It's risky on their part, and I think to some degree it's going to backfire on them. Because there are a lot of women who are married to men who love the fact that they're masculine. I'm a fairly masculine guy. I was a cheerleader in high school, and I've got 100 cooking videos on the web. But I uh, like Metallica, and, uh, you know, and I, and, I, and I build stuff, and I like tools. You know, that's, uh, that's I guess, masculine. I hope not toxic. But again, this is uh, an overcorrection that has happened many, many times in our country. Uh, we feel like we need to not only make up for the sins of the past, but overcorrect for them. And I've got a, another commercial that I'm going to share with you from Axe. This kind of started a couple of years ago. This is an Axe uh, body wash commercial, I guess. And this is kind of this whole activism thing. Um, Let's see here. Uh, this is the this is this is the original. Okay, th this is the original commercial that came out a couple of years ago. This is from Axe Body Spray, and it's a little bit questioning just the tenets of masculinity. And then we'll get to the new one from Gillette in just one second. Here it is. Is it okay to be skinny? Has the ball, bro. It's a lot harder to be fat. Trust me, as a kid, he was bullied for being fat uh, until he was a freshman in high school. Yeah. Really not like sports? <laughs> Is it okay to be a virgin? To experiment with other guys? You know, uh, that's fine. Um, I guess, sure. You know, to experiment with other guys. Do you know the percentage of, of people who experiment with other guys? And I have no problem with gay people. I don't care. But honestly, the percentage is pretty small. Here we go. All right. Is it okay for guys to wear pink? It's okay if you want to wear pink. I don't care. Is it okay for guys to, to be nervous? I've got a pink shirt. I've got a pink button-down shirt. You tuck in shirt. Very nice. It's an Oxford. Nervous. You need to have long hair. I don't have pink underwear, though. Unless I've actually washed some new underwear with a red shirt. And th that's happened. That's happened. I I've had pink underwear because of that. Do you like cats? 
to take a selfie? Just shave your... It is okay for guys to like cats and shave their chest. To be depressed. I'm a poster child for depression. To be scared? Wait, is it okay for me to be a little spoon? Come on, man. These are the real questions that guys are searching every day. There we are. Is it okay for guys to be shirtless? Have you been to an NFL game lately? Woo. Uh, is it okay for guys to be bisexual? Okay, whatever. Go online. Just is it okay to, uh, to do yoga, to drink soy milk, to do their eyebrows, to dye their hair? Search and see for yourself. Cook, be a virgin, like a cat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. It, 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 it is, and there are some jerks who, uh, you know, would say, no, you ain't supposed to be, you ain't supposed to do that. But, uh, but that's just being a jerk. Okay. If you want to wear a pink, I, uh, well, sure. Like I said, I've got a pink shirt upstairs. I, I should have worn it tonight. Gosh darn it, I didn't. But again, we've we've had this overcorrection and uh, feminization of the culture that's been happening for a very long time. Uh, I always called it the Oprahization of of the culture uh, because you know I like Oprah. You know, I don't agree with her politically, but I like Oprah. I think she's done some amazing things. She's an amazing person. Uh, as for, with regard to being a performer, with regard to being a businesswoman, all of that stuff. But at the same time, we have uh, suddenly, we've softened ourselves. Um, and now, uh, and I listen, if you want to be feminine as a guy, I don't care if you want to be masculine as a girl. Dear God, I had a producer who was more masculine than me, and she was, uh, wow. I mean, <laughs> wow. And she, she got a lot more women than I did. Thank you very much. Anyway. Um, you, you can be feminine as a guy. Uh, you can be you can be masculine as a girl. Uh, we still kind of, I guess, to some degree, struggle a little bit when we see Chaz Bono wearing a suit. Eh, uh, no, don't take it personally, Chaz. Uh, Kendall or uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Eh, I remember when you were on a Wheaties box and you were the, you know, the the greatest athlete in the history of the world. That is a little. You know, hmm. I'm used to seeing you do hurdles. I imagine the high hurdles are a lot easier now. I just, I'm just saying. Just after this, you know what I'm saying. So here's Gillette. Gillette has come up with a uh, commercial, uh, and their uh, slogan has been "The best a man can get." And they're saying, "Is this the best a man can get?" talking about the negative tenets of masculinity, which I don't consider to be masculine. I consider them to just be a jerk. Here is the commercial slash PSA. They're not selling anything. They're just making a political statement. Bullying. The Me Too the movement against sexual toxic harassment. masculinity. Is this the best of man? Girls bully girls, too. Can get... Is it? We can't hide from it. Sexual harassment is taking over. Uh, the Me Too movement. Okay. Now, you know that most men don't behave like Harvey Weinstein. You know that most people don't behave like uh, Bill Clinton. All right. Most men don't. They're jerks. This is not about masculinity. Going on far too long. Okay, that's just the MTV when I was, you know, MTV live from spring break. Uh, and the girls were into it, too. So there you go. We can't laugh it off. Who's the daddy? <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Who still uses that? Who still uses boys will be boys? I don't use that. Do you use boys will be boys? How about this? Girls will be girls. When I look at my daughter uh, having a tea party with her uh, with her uh, uh, stuffed animals and the dog, uh, girls will be girls. I never I never said that. Boys will be boys. Uh, who you know? It's a date. It's a dated, cliched expression, and it's not. Uh, no person who has a son would use that as an excuse for misbehavior. No, no, no person. Uh, I wouldn't look at my son and say, <laughs> "Boys will be boys." <laughs> no, I'd say, "Hey, you know what?" Don't be a dick. That's what I'd say to him. Here's a little bit more of this uh, PSA slash commercial. I guess they're trying to sell something. And and what the hell is wrong with what the hell is wrong with cooking barbecue? What the hell is wrong with with cooking a steak or or what? Uh, honestly, this kind of pisses me off. 
of all the things that this thing does, it, it pisses me off that somehow cooking with fire is toxic. Are you out of your nut? Dear God. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Yeah, you know where the sexual assault and sexual harassment hotbeds of the country are? Hollywood and Washington, D.C. <laughs> Hollywood and Washington, D.C. This is not a metaphor for masculinity. And there will be no going back. Because we... We believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men. I like Terry Crews. He kicks ass. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. To, to say, say the right, right thing. thing. To act the, the right, right way. way. Not cool. Not cool. Some already are. In ways big. Yo, men. And small. I am strong. I am strong. But some barbecue grill. He's getting away from his barbecue grill. <laughs> is not enough. So how we treat each other, okay? See, this 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 thing that kind of bugs me about this is is you know we need some sort of a lesson to step in when something's bad, when something's not going right, when something is. Uh, we need to, we need a lesson. We need somebody to tell us, hey, there's another kid beating up another kid. You sh- probably should get involved. You know, we already know this, okay? Only complete D weeds uh, do not know that. Because, because the, the boys, boys watching watch today will be the men of tomorrow. Pretty much, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for, uh, honestly, uh, uh, thank you thank you for uh, teaching me how to be a good father. I really appreciate that, Gillette. Uh, what do you make? You make stuff that you smear on your face to soften your beard and shave it. And pit stick. There you go. Thank you for your lesson in fatherhood. I really appreciate that. I, I would have never stepped in and, and saved somebody from being bullied. Never. Never even came. Thank you, Gillette. <sighs> they should call it Gillette Lessons for Morons. Maybe that maybe that's what they need to call it. Uh, masculinity is not toxic. Being a strong man is not toxic. Crying as a man, showing your emotion at your daughter's wedding, it doesn't make you any less of a man. And honestly, that cliche died a long time ago. That cliche died a long time ago. This is not 1943. This is not 1955. This is not June and Boyd Cleaver. Come on. Come on. A little bit more on this. American Psychological Association says uh, many male traits, including stoicism, competitiveness, dominance, and aggression, are harmful and can lead to violence, depression, and suicide. It argues that this traditional masculine ideology pushes boys towards anti-femininity and forces them to mask the appearance of weakness while encouraging risk-taking, aggression, and violence as a means of solving problems. Gosh dang it, it's not 1943! Critics have accused the report of making anti-male, it's uh, an anti-male stance, which depicts traditional male values as nearly monstrous, and it does. The report paints a picture of generations of boys under constant pressure by society to conform to masculine expressions who are censured by their parents and peers if they fail to maintain the expected behavior. This is not 1940-whatever. Its authors say transgender issues are at the forefront of the cultural conversations. 0.3% of the population, if even that, are transgendered. If you sat in, and I'm going to use a masculine uh, uh, analogy here, if you sat in the Super Bowl uh, and there were uh, 100,000 people in the stadium, like three people would be transgendered. Okay? It's just not common. Its authors say transgendered issues are at the forefront of the cultural conversations with evidence suggesting a link between adherence to rigid masculinity in gay, bisexual, and transgender men and a higher rate of self-destructive behavior such as drug taking. Okay. That means you're mentally having some issues. Uh, be bisexual. Be gay. I don't care. Dress up like a girl. Become a girl. I don't care, Caitlyn Jenner. I don't care. But don't blame me 
for being masculine and being heterosexual. I'm not a bad guy because of that. Okay. There's a difference between heterosexual male and masculine and being a complete dick. While the controversial guidance was years in the making, its publication in the wake of the hashtag MeToo movement against sexual harassment and sexual assault feeds a prevailing narrative about the dangers of traditional masculinity. There are no dangers of traditional masculinity. This is not traditional masculinity. This is an anomaly. This is bad behavior. It's not traditional masculinity. You are wrong. There's nothing wrong with traditional masculinity. Playing grab ass or sexually assaulting someone is not traditional masculinity. Critics accuse the authors of anti-male rhetoric. Frank Faridi, professor of psych, uh, sociology at Kent University, said suddenly the reluctance of men to cry on demand is recast as pathology. This is not a scientifically informed document. It is an ideology, ideology. Excuse me, ideologically driven attempt to devalue male identity. True. Professor Chris Ferguson, fellow at the APA, he's a fellow, stop it, uh, complained that the guidance read like an activist's agenda saying in sweeping terms traditional men are portrayed as nearly monstrous. Yep. Their cultural values associated with everything from sexism to promiscuity to their own declining health. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's taking masculinity the traditional tenets of masculinity, which do not include playing grab ass or rape or sexual assault, those are manifested in Hollywood and Washington, D.C. Psychologist Ryan McDermott, who helped draft the report, said the profession needed to help men break free of masculinity rules that don't help them and focus on potentially positive aspects of masculinity, such as courage and leadership. Well, that's kind of sexist. They're saying that Positive aspects of masculinity are courage and leadership. Does femininity have courage and leadership? That, that's pretty sexist. It's pretty sexist. We've gone through a variety of striations with regard to the feminist movement in this country, um, from moving away from you know the 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 um, uh, the, the standard uh, wife at home. Uh, have a martini ready for hubby when he gets home, uh, all that stuff, to kind of an overcorrection for men, um, you know, wanting to uh, do whatever they can to please the one in the life. And I do, I do, I do my very best. Um, moving into emasculating men. Um, there's nothing wrong with men being involved in raising their children and and all of that, and, and maybe if man, you know, goes to work and he sp stays there 12 hours a day and he comes home and he sees the kids goodbye, good night, th that, that doesn't happen anymore. All right? But we've, we've seen all of these things, these, uh, these ways that men are trying to make up for the past, whether it be becoming more feminine, whether it be, be becoming more uh, whatever, and that's fine, and that's fine, and I think, you know, maybe we need a, a little correction at some point. I didn't need a correction because I... You know, uh, I love my wife, and I don't try to dominate my wife, and I, I don't try to, you know, what, and I'm, I'm not afraid to cry. In fact, I cry more than my wife, to be quite honest. I, I do, actually, um, whether it be TV commercials or whatever. But um, this isn't about masculinity. Masculinity, is, there's nothing wrong with masculinity. There's nothing wrong with femininity. There is something wrong with being a dick. Okay? So I think what we should take from this is, uh, don't be a dick. <laughs> How about that? All right? Okay. If you're masculine, be masculine. If you're feminine and you're a man, be feminine. I don't care. I really think this is dated. This is like coming to the party too late after we've already had this discussion before. And Gillette's showing up going, okay, we've got to do it. But no, we pretty much did that already, actually. You know, uh, that's that, that, that right there, that was my grandpa. Maybe that was my dad. But honestly, we've kind of moved on. And, and get the hell off a of barbecue. Get the hell off of cooking with fire. Because if that's a tenet of masculinity, don't F with it. All right. Check out my line of uh, politically incorrect gear up here. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, dimwit, offering free SH. Doo -doo -doo. Sometimes war is the answer. It is because bad guys need their asses kicked occasionally. All right. Uh, make America bait again. 
It's got a fish on it. See it? Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, some other designs. Uh, Hillary and 20 Never. We do have a new um, Elizabeth Warren 2020 uh, T-shirt coming up, too. So just go there and order. You can put it on T-shirts, mouse pads, whatever, coffee mugs, all of that stuff. I would greatly appreciate it if you do that. In the meantime, uh, be masculine if you're masculine. Be feminine if you're feminine. Just don't be a dick. All right? Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, make sure to follow me on Facebook at Rob Carson Show and on Twitter at Rob Carson. See you soon. Thanks for listening to The Rob Carson Show. Friend him on Facebook at Carson Show, on Twitter at Rob Carson, and on Instagram. Uh, I think Facebook and Twitter are enough for now.